right guys welcome back to the channel this is a really highly requested video it has been for a few weeks now what are the ins and outs of the pnr ice tank like how does it work how it's hooked up how we've run the lines big benefit of running you know more capacity more fluid with a supercharged setup even for just regular street cars so that's one of the things we want to talk about today also this video is sponsored by yes you can see right here super clean inside of this box is some new cool product that's super clean you guys may have heard of them they've actually sent this out to me so we got tough task cleaner and degreaser dissolves grease super easy super fast super clean right one of the cool things is you can use this on like brakes grills engines we're not gonna have to use this today but inside we've got some more we have the same deal here just in a squeeze bottle but this, we're about to test out. We're about to test this out. So, super clean, all wheel cleaner. I've not cleaned the wheels yet. These are a satin finish Valgan VF5. All right, fun times. I haven't filmed on an iPhone in forever. It's actually kind of fun to just use your phone, but we got some instructions here. So, already got the vehicle clean, but uh, rinse with cold water. So, we're just gonna hit them again. Let it sit for 30 seconds. If they're super dirty, again, we're gonna follow up with like a sponge. These aren't that dirty. There's still probably some brake dust on them, but just give it a little mist. Okay. Mother Nature does not want me to do anything today, so. All right, we've got it sprayed down. So we had it soaked, rinsed it off the water hose, towel, wiped it down. I gotta get this thing back in the garage because it's already getting wet. Yep, clean. All right, I think that works. Cool, man, I appreciate you, super clean. Definitely gonna come in handy. I appreciate you sending out your products and I uh, definitely will be using it in the future. So links down in the description if you wanna pick up some product. Looks like it's gonna be highly recommended. So let's get this thing back into the garage, get it up on Jack's hands, show you how we did the ice tank, show you the ins and outs. Hopefully you'll learn something by the end of this video and why it might be beneficial to you, even if it's just a street car. I'm gonna show you the goodies, show you around the car, how I hook things up, why I think that it's worth it. And then you guys can make your own you know, assumptions, decisions. I'll say that with this setup, the way that I have it run, let's say a 100 degree day. If I'm cruising, you know, on the highway, or whatever, I'm usually seeing about 15, maybe 20 degrees above ambient. You know, for a blower, this is really a game changer because IETs generally will kill your times at the track and even on the streets. It generally, when your IETs reach a I don't know what it is, maybe 130, 140, you know, it starts pulling timing. It starts pulling power back. Things operate better when they're a little bit cooler. I'm gonna show you the trunk in a second, but one that VMP comes with, it just sits right about here. It looks super clean, super factory, and it kind of fills this little pocket up here where there's like nothing. Now, when we go to the back here, this is how I've done my ice tank. Um, word of the wise, if you order one of these, I would probably get one of these powder coated. Again, I could, I could definitely do this in the future, but when they leak, you know, or you touch it, this raw aluminum will show fingerprints. You know, the cool thing is that you can take your cover, your carpet cover, and it will completely hide all of this and live under that. So you don't have to actually give up any trunk space. The way that this works is it bolts in place. Um, kind of tough to get this one to actually sit down flush up there. Maybe a longer screw than what comes with it, but um this is about a eleven hundred dollar setup a thousand to eleven hundred dollar setup so this is the stage four uh it's got the big pump you know i talked to lethal performance that's where i got mine well this is right here's your feed and this operates kind of like a return style fuel system for example you have a feed that goes into the side of the blower or intercooler there's different ways to actually uh run your lines depending on what you're doing with the car we're going to talk about that too but then it comes back return style and dumps into the back of the tank here now when you're at the drag strip if you want to pack this thing full of ice i mean you can see how big this is it's gonna hold i don't even know maybe 40 pounds of ice i have no clue we haven't tested that yet but it should make a significant difference but when you do that uh you'll come back here and this is your little drain i'll pull this down you know it'll drain some of the fluid out what i have in here is a whole lot of distilled water and a little bit of water wetter. I don't have any regular coolant in here because it's a little bit thicker than, you know, regular water, especially water wetter makes it really slippery. Now in the winter time, 
you know, I'll probably put some coolant back here just to, you know, for, for weather and stuff like that. But for the summertime heat, this is perfect. But anyway, so this is the way that it works. It gives you three wires. So I've got ground is going back to a factory ground back here. Okay. Power is going up through the car, through this kick panel, and then up through here into one of the hot sides of the uh, fuse box here. So you can see where that connects. Now, hey, there is your fuse, that orange fuse right there. You want that as close to your power source as possible. That's typically the way that you would want to run an inline fuse. There's a third wire, right? Third wire that comes with this. And what I did, I've got to show you. My third wire, I've got to go into a kill switch. I want to do the same thing with my VMP triple pass fan uh, intercooler up there or heat exchanger rather. For example, if we're an accessory, the fans are running and then this will kick on after a second or two and then we can hear it. It's actually running right now, which is cool because if your car's hot, maybe you just did a pass, then you can put your battery on a trickle charger or whatever and just let the fluid run through the system. So and it'll help to cool it down but you can hear how it sounds and i'm going to open up this hat so you guys can check out the flow as well but pretty cool the way that i've done this because again if you're just made a run or you're about to then you have the option to let it run which will eat up your battery or just turn it off so just make sure that it's running whenever you're driving the car You'll be good to go. The way that I've run this third wire, I think it was purple or blue with this uh, pump. I've got it actually going to the kick panel down here to a key on position. I've got power, ground, and then I've got the third wire going to a key on. For me, um, this is an 18 up Mustang. I went top right and did an add a fuse, power ground, and then a third wire going to kill switch and then kill switch to uh, power on and the BCM. That's how I've run my wires. Super, super easy to figure this out. Benefit, we can key on without the car running. Come back here. You hear prime up. Got a little breather vent there. There's your flow. This is only filled about 80%, so I could actually pack this full of ice right now and make some hits, you know, street or track or whatever. A lot of guys, anyway, they talk about they don't have, they think they don't have enough flow. And my advice would be check your wiring because something's off. Make sure you got a good power ground. I actually think that I don't need to jack this car up to be able to show you. So we have our feed and our return coming out of the side there. And we follow, I've got them running together, going up over the independent rear suspension there as you can uh, see pretty well right there, okay? So there is room to do that. It doesn't pinch anything, you'll be fine. Now my feed comes this way across the car, underneath, and there's a long plastic like cover, like shield that goes over there for your fuel lines. Um, all my return style fuel system runs over there. And alongside that we have, uh, we have our hose, which then, uh, buddy of mine helped me do this can speed addict 731 thought it would be a great idea to you know obviously get this away from heat as much as possible some guys will run it you can run them any way you want to but some guys will come up across the headers or something like that he wanted uh and a great idea he thought that it'd be cool to come like through the fender so right here is part of it it goes into the heat exchanger and then out and then it comes into here wise so we got an inlet and then also an inlet on the odin it's the bottom side and your outflow is the top then wise together and goes to the return goes straight back i wanted to plumb the hose in a way that was going to be better for the street now the way to do it for if you're going to race the car more and less street stuff you're going to run it differently like i was saying for the street stuff the way that i have it run is the way that you'll want to do yours now maybe you do more track stuff and less street driving everything in the back is going to be the same your feed and return except you're going to feed into the blower first then come to your heat exchanger 
and then back to the ice tank in the rear. And so I'm going heat exchanger first, then blower. So for more track stuff, you'll go blower first, then heat exchanger. There is definitely gonna be a benefit if you go blower first, because if you put ice in the back, it's gonna see the blower first, then your heat exchanger will cool that down a little bit more as it's going back to the tank. It's honestly, I, I may change up in the future, the flow and just kind of experiment because it's just, basically rerouting right so that's pretty much gonna do it i think for this video hopefully i mean you get something out of it and you kind of grasp the concept of like why an ice tank might be beneficial the biggest takeaway is that you're going to have more fluid capacity it's going to take more abuse to be able to heat up that volume of of uh, fluid that you have running throughout the entire system so in the back we've got seven gallons and then you have all the fluid running through the lines tvs blows for example run really hot Twin screws run a little bit cooler, but you know, so my ITs might be a little bit north of what like a Whipple might be, for example. I don't know yet. We're actually gonna put that to the test here in the near future. Like I said, my buddy uh, Ken is gonna add one of these tanks to his Whipple Mustang, and then we can do some comparison videos and stuff like that as far as IETs and everything. But um, yeah, with no ice, my IETs are pretty much consistent about 20 over ambient which is not too bad and that's in like a hundred you know it's it's crazy hot if i'm sitting in traffic it's going to climb i've sat in like burger king for example trying to order food for like 20 minutes and i don't think that the iet's even crossed over 140. i mean it's that big of a deal at least for my car my setup so hopefully this video again is beneficial to you and you've learned something but again you've got a factory ground power with an inline fuse to the fuse box there and then your accessory wire i have going to a key on position and seems to work very well what we're probably gonna do is do like a part two right and then we'll take you on the street and show you the iets and then we'll be able to do some pulls and i want to be able to showcase like what do the iets look like at the end of a pull because that's what everybody's going to want to know like after you make a hit what do the iets look like okay so just sitting in the garage talking about it, it's not going to do that. But we don't have the time for a 45 minute video on showcasing that. So stay tuned for part two. Subscribe, turn the notification bells on. And I appreciate all you guys watching. God bless you. Have a great day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.